Well, when you look at that, the leaves on my zucchini plant have just turned all black. They're dying off here. Everything is just past its best now. Frost has come and it's done its work. Look at that. Black leaves. What do you do when you don't have any gardening to do? That's what I asked you. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. My wife, bless her heart, she's an artist. She does lots of knitting. I'm not been going to be doing knitting in the winter. Although there's some fellow called Kathy Fassett who actually knits. There's a man who knits. You not a net wet. But it makes these fantastic stuff and I thought, you know, I, I might do some knitting. But it might be too complicated for me. So instead, I found this little thing here. Look, it's called Microflare. You got a wee booklet with it like that. And believe it or not, what I'm thinking of doing it's pressing flowers. You know, that's, that's going to be my new hobby. This is the wee thing. The microflower. Or microflower. Looks like, like some French thing when it's fleur. Like that. Anyway, this is the wee press. You know, my wife, when she went to school in Finland, all the school kids, they had to go out into the forest and out into the woods and they had to collect flowers. And then they would take a big fat book and press them in the book and then find out what the Latin name was for it and write a Latin name. I mean, she knows. She knows a lot of name of peas and beans and goodness knows what. I think she's she's rather a clever woman, you know. She wants to be because she's got this microflower thing. Microflower. Anyway, it's got these little sort of clamps at the end there, which you can take off. You see that? That's the clamp there. So it's it's got two of these, one on each side like that, which you pull off. And then, this is a, it's made out of some sort of plastic there, microflow. And then there, it's got wee holes, wee holes all the way through. That's to let the moisture out. And then it's got, it's got these, this middle section, which is made out of felt. You've got felt there, then a wee bit of cloth, and another wee bit of cloth, and more felt. So that's it. And it goes on the bottom and it's got holes on it as well. Well you put it on like that. You put your flower there in the centre. You can see that we've been doing quite a lot of them because this is dirty. It takes all the sort of colour out of the flowers. Well, I said Paul, I wasn't all that good so I'll come out and I'll get a few little pansies and try it with them. I think that they might be better. That's a nice wee one there with that sort of creamy colour and the blue as well. Let's take that one. I think that little yellow one might be a nice one to take as well. So that'll be three different ones so we can look at them, see what they're like. So the way we have the wee pansies, that's that blue and yellow one there. And that's the sort of creamy one there. And that's a wee yellow flower there. And I think that the best way to do it is to put them face down like that. So that when you're squashing them, you 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 try and sort of maintain the, the sort of shape of them. You know, that St. Paul there, it, just, it was just squashed in the wrong way. So I'm going to sort of try it this way now. So just putting this, this is the the other bit, so I'm going to put it down here and then just squash these like that and hopefully I'll get it right this time 
Okay, that's it. Well, there we are. It's just in the microwave now. It's going to have a, sur a real surprise when those microwaves start <laughs> going through it and sort of shocking the life out of it. And those are the little holes there that all the condensation and water should come out of. So let's close up the door and we'll give it, let's give it 20 seconds, that's all, and start it. So there we go. 20 seconds. I guess it's being toasted in there, those little flowers. So I wonder what they'll come out like. Hopefully they'll be a lot better looking than the, say, the end, that's it. Let's open it up, take it out. That's us. It's a wee bit warm. So that's me taking the clamps off the edges. It's been holding it down. Let's take this plastic bit off. And let's open this up. There we go. I see wee yellow in there. That's a blue one. Oh ho. Some of these are just stuck down there. And that's the yellow one. One of its petals has just got ruined. But let's turn this one over and have a look at it. Oh ho. It's stuck. Well, it doesn't want to come. Well, we have to. I'll try and sort this out and get it so I can get them off without breaking them. So there they are. That's the wee blue and, and creamy one, and then that's the creamy one there. And that one there is the, the one with the yellow petals. You can see they're a bit distorted, so. You've got to choose flowers that they behave themselves and sort of nestle down nicely. Some of them don't. But I think that those ones, those ones come out better than that. You can see that that one there, that was the St. Pauli and it just, I only gave that one 10 seconds and these ones are given 20 seconds. So those have come out a lot better, I think. So that's it. Get on with your flower pressing, all you men out there. Get in touch with your feminine sides. I've made some other ones here. Some earlier. Look, look at that one. That's quite nice, I think. And I've even done a cosmos. A big cosmos. Look at that one. Eh? It's just like tissue paper. Now what I'm thinking is if you did enough of these you could glue them onto paper and make Christmas cards out of them, you know then people would just be getting a, a breath of of summer right about Christmas time. And I think that they would really appreciate that. So if you want to get in touch with your feminine side, well, you know if you're a man, and I would highly recommend this flower pressing. It's uh, quite artistic, if you ask me. Alright, that's it for now. Over and out.